So, what up my peeps? Matrix Native here. And in today's video, basically I'm dropping another video for my GTA 5 fans. As well, some of my Ghost fans might be interested in this. Today, I'm bringing you the A-10 Thunderbolt, aka the Warthog. All of its glory with its 30 mic mic minigun. And I gotta tell you, this wouldn't be happening without my boy, Legion Boyd. I really want to thank him for this. He helped me grind to actually get enough money to purchase this. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it comes informative to you. Let's drive on downrange. Enjoy the video, my peeps. So guys, welcome to my hangar, obviously. Uh, as you see, I got the Harrier here. Got the Black Hawk. Got the little bird, and then of course I got the regular cargo bob for my rescue chopper. And speaking of Legion Boyd, as I stated in the uh, in the intro, here he is right here. What's up, brother? You okay? Hey. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. All right, cool, man. So while I'm going over this and stuff, you got anything to add or whatever? I'll uh, I'll give you a chance to do that. So today, as stated, we're going to be reviewing this badass plane, uh, obviously. The A-10 Thunderbolt, also known as the Warthog. And what a lot of people don't know is that it is actually called in the Air Force the Thunderbolt after the P-47. Kind of like they, uh, they dedicated it to the Mustang. But if you go anywhere else, especially in the Army or the Corps, we definitely refer to this as the Warthog. Again, this is what everybody knows, the Murr, obviously. That's this, uh, that's this baby right here. It's basically a GAU-8 Alpha Avenger. It's basically a 30 mic mic hydraulic driven 7 barrel Gatlin type gun. They say it's a Gatlin type gun because it's actually, um, well, back in the day they used to be chain driven as well. Okay, so getting on with it here, you see we got our, uh, our missile silos here. We got our rocket pods here. And uh, this thing does drop bombs as well. So let's go ahead, hop in the, uh... now another thing you can't do, you can't jump up on the wing and then get in. Or actually I think you can, but I just didn't do it. Hey Legion, see if you can jump up on that wing for me. I think you can actually. Sure can. Yeah. Nah, you can't. You got to be outside the hangar to do that. So that's one thing. Make sure you're outside the hangar and then you can jump up on the wing and get in. If you're in the hangar, you go straight in. To, into the glass, into the cockpit, if you will. So, go ahead. We're going to modify it. I'm going to show you guys modifications. Now, let me also remind everybody that it actually comes, uh, it's actually included in the price, which, again, the price is 3.8 mil. I think I forgot to uh, to mention that. But the price is 3.8 mil. What do you think, uh, Legion, about, what, 4.8 mil, about a million to upgrade? Or it's not even that much, really, to upgrade it with armor and stuff. You definitely want to get the armor upgraded 100%. We'll be uh, touching on that in a little bit. So bombs, here's the thing. You can go with the cluster bombs, but to be honest, I've done a little research. And to be honest with you, the explosive do about the same damage as the incinerary and the cluster. So I wouldn't even waste my money if you guys uh, wanted the cluster. It really has no different effect than the other ones. I, you know, I, I don't know how else to put it. I wouldn't be spending 114 k for the cluster unless you're just insanely rich. With that being said, though, the gas is pretty fun watching people choke out when you drop it on them, okay? So if you want to, you can go with the gas. Me, personally, I'm just going to stay with the explosive because I'm not going to try to spend 80 or 114 k since I'm sort of low on fundage now. Countermeasures, I'm going with flare, but as you can see, you can also get the chaff uh, as well as any smoke you want, which would be cool if you're doing like some kind of air show or whatever. Let me also remind you, like if I buy the chaff, then I got to, next time I want flares, they don't stay open. You got to, you got to buy them again, which I think is, is pretty dick of, uh, of Rockstar to do. In fact, if you just want nothing on there and you don't want bombs on there, obviously it's going to cost you 665 and then when you come back in to put your chaff or flare or smoke on, guess what? It's going to cost you again. So, I think Rockstar sort of sort of, you know, that that was pretty uh that was pretty shitty of 
of Rockstar to do, uh, I believe myself. And in fact, there's I don't believe there's any way to mod it or go into any any uh, bunker or facility you might have to be able to unlock. Where once you pay for them, you can you know you can have them permanently unlocked. You know that's that's kind of some bullshit. But anyway, driving on, extra countermeasures, engine. Obviously, we're going to go with the EMS upgrade level four handling. We're going to go with the race handling. Now, I know like in the Akula, I'll put on like the smooth handling because it, it's just uh, it ju it, it's just that maneuverable, right? That if you put on the race handling, you sort of oversteer a lot, and uh, it's just really, really hard to control on, on something like the Akula. You know, really, really high maneuverable uh, aircraft, you might want to just keep the smooth handling on. However, for the Warthog, we're going to go ahead and put on the race handling. And I got to be honest with you, this, this Warthog on race handling, it will actually get behind a pyro, okay? The turning radius on this plane is magnificent, okay? It is very, very agile. However, it is the slowest plane in GTA 5. But that doesn't mean that it's not the... Uh, best plane in dogfighting, which I personally think it is one of the best planes in the dogfighting arena because of its turning radius and its agility and the power of the explosive cannons, basically the 30 mic mic in the air. Not when you're going for ground targets, because honestly, the 30 mic mic, they really nerfed up for ground targets, okay? But in the air, it actually helps out because... We have researched this. The the distance that the explosive cannons will go for the distance down range, per se, is actually further than the Hydra. So if you park a Hydra and you park the A-10 on the runway, I'll be able to kill the Hydra before it kills me. Huh? That's what I'm trying to say about these guns, which in turn really does help you out in a gunfight. But against ground targets, i got to tell you that the mini cannon... It's uh, it's not very viable. What's viable is your barrage rocket. So, and and it comes with both. It comes with the barrage rockets. It also comes with uh, the homing missiles. Basically, your air to air, air to ground homing missiles. And then uh, obviously you got to purchase the bombs. But as far as uh, missile types, it comes with both. It comes with your homing, which is got 20, so 20 uh, missiles. For the homing and the barrage are endless so you can spam and to be honest with you against ground targets i definitely 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 uh prefer instead of uh the minigun i prefer the barrage rockets okay livery i went with the stealth camo hog you've also got camo camo snake white tipped hog woodland camo hog camo hog camo shark the bunny the shark the snake the hog and then none. And again, if I wanted to switch back to none on the paint scheme, it's going to cost me about 11k, and then it'll cost me to to basically repaint it in anything. So I've got the stem, stealth camo hog open. Again, I, I'm liking this, and uh, I know Legion and I were also commenting on it the other night. Like if you go over the ocean, it looks like a chrome blue. Uh, it it really it reminds me of a chameleon because it really does. It, it kind of changes color according to your environment, huh? And I think that that's uh, you know, that's five by five in my opinion. So that's that respray. You get your primary color. Obviously, you can put it in whatever that uh, that you prefer or whatnot. You can also change the secondary color, which is basically your uh, your fuel pods, your bombs, your missiles, and your rocket pods. So that's basically what what that will uh, what that will change. And then once you get it all upgraded, you can get one hundred sixty eight million four hundred and six thousand dollars for this bad boy. Again, though, it's going to cost you somewhere around five mil to really upgrade it and get on the battlefield the way you want it. Okay, so with that being said, let's go over these weapons a few more times and let me just basically give you a general overview. One, look, I know uh, Tylerius, I know my boy Ty said, you know, don't buy this unless, uh, you know, you're just filthy rich or whatever. It's not a must-have. I got to disagree with that. This is a definite must-have, especially if you've spent any time in the armed forces and seen this baby in action. It is definitely, definitely, definitely worth the $5 million. Definitely, definitely want to own 
this plane and make sure that you have it in your state. So basically, your barrage missiles are unlimited. Unlimited. You can sit and spam on them, spam on them. In some upcoming video, you will see that I do spam them. As a matter of fact, and you can spam them with seven. Basically, I think it salvos of seven rockets. So basically, your barrage is where it's at. Uh, in my opinion, the most lethal, even though it should be the minigun, your barrage missiles are actually the best uh, armament on here, to be quite honest with you, especially without question against ground targets. Okay, again, spammable, and the salvos are seven if you spam them out, and then it takes about two seconds for them to uh to reload okay your homing missiles again uh they're okay what's cool though is you can come down at enemy targets hit a couple of home homing missiles that come out two at a time and then you can switch to your barrage and light them up with seven more and then you can actually switch to the 30 mic mic if uh that's how i do a lot of uh strafe runs and such like that if i'm not on a bombing run in this beast magnificent of an aircraft again your homing missiles uh 20 and then you run out and you got to come back to the hangar to basically uh reload your plane so basically if you're in the air flying around what will take this down explosive snipers now here's the deal it's five on the ground or in the air to actually take this uh this aircraft out however when you're in the air it only takes three for you to go into a nose dive and then you have to eject because three sniper explosive round will basically take this bad boy out of the air. However, it will not, uh, you know, completely destroy the plane. And you will go into a, a death spin, though. You definitely will, and you'll end up having to eject. So basically, you might as well say that three uh, explosive sniper rounds can take this thing out of the air. And probably what I shouldn't be telling you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and give you this information. One sniper explosive round will take the wing off. Just one. And you basically render this aircraft helpless. I probably shouldn't have told you that. But I'm trying to keep it real with the review. Okay. Homing missiles takes five to take her down in the air or up top. Of course, again, on your about your fourth one, it will uh, take you into, into a death dive, a death spin, if you will. And one, or correction, two will take out one engine. And that engine actually will make your plane pitch towards the side of the engine that got blown out and eventually eventually it will catch to the next engine and you will eventually go into a death spin however it will uh, a lot of times with one engine out you can still make it to your hangar to uh you know to basically uh repair your aircraft uh, a couple more things uh again great for dog fighting out turns really it out turns uh the pyro which I know a lot of people know the pyro turns quickly, as well as the, uh, what's it called, the Starlet Legion? What's that one that starts with an S? Uh, the Starlet, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, so both of those are tight turns, but i got to be honest with you, the A-10 has even a tighter turn, which makes it, for me, the number one plane for dogfighting, as well as the miniguns. The miniguns on this thing are way better in dogfighting than they are for ground targets. So let's not forget about that. As mentioned, one of the slowest planes in the game. However, the higher you go, the faster you go. So with higher elevation, you actually can go a little faster than lower elevation. Now, when you let go, some aircrafts want to pull up just, just tendency. This one actually goes down, sort of nose dives when you let off, and it sets you up for those great uh, bombing runs. So, now, again, explosive mini guns, inaccurate, hard to aim, not as powerful as a Hydra, still have a longer range than any other aircraft, still very accurate, very accurate against, uh, you know, other aerial targets, okay? Explosive cannons, not accurate on the ground targets. Um, they do kill ground targets, but again, it's just really hard to line it up. Great for dog fighting. Uh, and really, guys, that's about it. So, Legion, you got anything else to add about this uh, badass of a plane? Well, I can definitely say with this plane, if you take off and you go completely vertical, go, you just keep going straight up. You don't stall. With the Hydra, I've tried it, you stall. Basically, okay. with any plane, it will just stall. But this bad boy won't. And another fact about this plane, when you change deliveries, like when you come around back here, 
You see the tail number? It says yeah, right. KY. Yeah. With my one, it says uh, Yeah, that's what she said. So that's, un that's unique with all the libraries. Ah, that is, that is about unique. what I've got to say. Okay, so I just also want to say that KY, maybe this is from, uh, you know, Maybe this is from the Kentucky Air Guard or something. That's all I can figure with uh, with that kind of name or tag. Now, that is pretty awesome. So, you know, I'm not obviously I don't got the cash to run and put every paint scheme on here, but you might be able to Google like what paint scheme, what your tail number would be, huh? As you can see here, uh, Kilo Yankee 0001. Of course, my call sign as usual, Arc 41. Also, I wanted to mention on that that basically. To land this plane, you don't need a whole lot of room. It can land on streets. You do got to be, you know, the the uh, wings on this aircraft uh, do protrude from the body uh, wider than, say, the Hydra or, you know, a lot of your prop planes as well. So this definitely has the wingspan, I think, uh the longest wingspan of any other aircraft in its class. So, now, to take off, as you'll see in the upcoming videos, guys, to take off, this thing will get up in the air. Uh, I was actually challenging, um, we were actually comparing Legion and I the other night, and I basically got up faster than the Hydra. This, that's how quick this thing, now it will not, it will not, obviously it's not VTOL, but I'm telling you, you don't need much to get this bad boy up. So with that being said, I know our boy Ty said, you know, you don't, if you don't got the money, don't purchase it. I mean, obviously, if you don't got the money, you can't purchase it. But if you're sitting on about six million, you don't know what to do with it, or you're thinking, man, should I buy this or this? This is the thing to buy. I'm telling you, it's just too much fun. It's too much fun to fly. Wouldn't you agree, Legion? It's it's a must-have in your hangar. Whoa, I think I just lost yep. the wing. I just like, lost when it first came out, the notification on the top left, B11 came out. I was probably the third one in the book to buy it. That's how desperate I wanted this plane. So I say this is a must-have. There we go. So you heard it from from two Matrix Ops hitters, man. This is the plane to have. And like I said, got to reiterate that if you've ever seen one of these bad boys in action, if it's ever covered your ass in action, that's even more of a reason to get it. It won't disappoint. The sound of the cannon is is right on point even though it's a little weak against the ground target. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's block of instruction. Dreaming big, town is small, and it's going down, all I need is a microphone, I'm headed for the crown, y'all. Call me whack, call me weak, say I'll never blow. Memphis bleak, they know like the radio, that Henderson was meant to speak. I'm on these tracks, just like Thomas, I'm the truth, just being honest. Y'all a bunch of Martin and Anthony's, yeah, that's prima donnas. Wayne Brady, they know the deal, Henderson just showing skill.